to this point. Let's see if it continues tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Pucks it away in his own end. The Peets move the puck in the defensive zone. St. Petersburg's across the blue line. Shot! And he's got the answer for that one. Takes the feet at the back end. And that one flies over the net. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the glove. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Moscow's got the puck along the boards. Oh, Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Moscow's early lead in this one, a direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet and they're moving the puck, and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free, and you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits, and you get rewarded for it. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. The setters will glide into the dot. And they win the draw on their own end. Takes the feed from his own end. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the trip and goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent. James fishing for the puck. Just used his stick and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Moscow setting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And he takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. The Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick snap. Denies him in close. Here's a shot. There's a well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Angles it over to Leipzig. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Slides the puck over. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing in your PK. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. St. Petersburg's won the defensive zone draw. This one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Wilson's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. St. Petersburg's PK unit gets their man out of the box. And a strong effort on that play. Does a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. And he denied him there. What pressure here in the offensive end. As a goaltender, you're always working on different exercises, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, 
everything that power pushes you across the crease and unfortunately this time he's just too slow getting across and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. Moscow's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Moves it quickly over to Galchenyuk. Puck scooped up by Leipzig. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. And he takes the feed. Turned aside. Puck grab by Zikov. For point blank. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Let's it rip. Nowhere for that shot to go through. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. through the first 20 minutes played. The Knights have a two-goal lead here. It's pretty comfortable. Why? Because they've been dominating in terms of getting shots through to the net. If they can keep up that shooting clinic, they're going to go up by more. Oh, wow! Stops them again! Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end! Save made by the keeper! All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end! And there's the whistle! As the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest! Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Let's get the call. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Moscow's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And there's the save. Scooped up along the wall by Roy. Does it again with the stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Moscow's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. He's got a little jump. He's clear. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Fadoon's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Especially teams in particular power plays, they can create so much momentum, but when you don't execute, it can really go the other way in favor of your opponent. It's really disrupted the flow of the game. They got to get back on track. The Knights win it. Puck picked up by Barak. Takes the puck. Off his stick. Big time save of the one-timer. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Well, here we go. Big time face off in the offensive zone for this power play unit. Well, and they haven't made any mistakes, right, James? They're moving the puck, they're finding ways to attack the net. They just haven't put it in, and they're up against a tired goal. It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Power play 
faceoff that leads to possession. That is just a dagger. A quick shot and a goal buries it. Moscow's been the dominant team tonight, and look at the score here, but I think it starts from the back end there, Cheryl. Well, it really does. This has been a clinic in terms of a 200-foot game. you got to protect your goaltender and take care of your own zone if you want to get going north, and that's exactly what they've done, and they've generated a ton of chances creating their offense out of the rush. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. From the point, they take control of it. Takes the pass. Right on the doorstep. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all about in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. The Pete's take it along the wall. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Oh, how many times has this happened in a game, James? I mean, you get a golden opportunity at one end. Everyone's pressing forward. The quick counterattack and transition gets going the other way, and then it capitalizes. That's a great one for one team, and it's a tough one to take for the other. St. Petersburg's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through to the net. Grabs the puck at center. Moscow's trying to make something happen on the offensive side. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. opponent right now he is so dialed in he's tracking the puck making save after save it's about time his team starts working in front of him moscow's moving it up the ice st petersburg's pk unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength playing big in the moment there that's a great job by the pk all the way from the entry even once the power play unit got in ability to read the ice and know exactly where you want to go and where to pressure that takes some skill it's not just the power That's a tough miss, James. I mean, that's a quality opportunity that's lost there. And the bench, you can see that that deflates them because you find a way to get the puck on net, you find more opportunity. You put it up high, guess what? There's no second chance. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Pete's carried along the wall. And there's a puck at the point. And that goes off course off a body. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Handles the pass from the right wing. The Pete's looking against the half wall. Scores! And they finish it on the rebound. What a goal. Actually a tougher play than it looks James you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it not a lot of time and space available but he executes perfectly
The Peets have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. Handles the puck. Poked away in the offensive zone by Galchenyuk. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, the refs are calling the really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Moscow's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. And he takes the dish. Fires it on Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow, well, that just makes perfect. And you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed. And they deliver tonight. The Knights have continued to put lots of pucks on net, and they lead it here in the third. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Knights cross the blue line and are on the attack. Sends the feet in front, and that's stopped. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Puck slid down the ice. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Picks up the puck. And that scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. St. Petersburg's got one back here in the third. Now can they find another, Cheryl? They need to find another gear. When you're pressing and you have your opponent on your heels, you have to try and find a way to bury them and build, and that's what they got to do right off the hop here on this face-off. The Knights certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. And that's a tough one for the power play team here, James. Give it scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. St. Petersburg's picking the plot here in this third period while tying it up. I always find it so interesting, James, that how the game shifts throughout it. And at the end of the game, finally, there's a sense of urgency. And because of it, they're able to capitalize on the scoring chance. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Scoops up the puck. Makes the save in the goal. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Golubkovs plays the puck, and now it's grabbed by Wilson, and he was ready for that save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. 
The Knights win that offensive zone faceoff. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. There's the horn for regulation, and it solves nothing. Overtime coming up. A lot of different choices on social media as to who'll be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. Puck is dropped. Both sides looking for that golden goal here. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. And that rush is broken up at center ice. Centering key, and he denies that great opportunity there. And he takes the feed. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Right in the slot. Or a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. That's taken along the wall. A shot makes a save. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a shot. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And a solid save there as we play on. Gains the zone from the right side. Puts it on net. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Puts it on net. Scores! Turn out the lights. This one's over. They needed overtime, but what an effort. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue. And we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. We'll talk to you then.